Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Anton. In today's video, an introduction to insects, general info, what are bugs, and how many are there. So, in today's video, I will discuss what a bug is, what its relationship to insects is, and how many insects are on our planet. So, let us begin. So an insect is defined as any creature with a total of six legs, a three-segmented body, and usually two sets of wings. Now, most people would say that the word bug is an equivalent of an insect, but actually, scientifically speaking, that is not correct. It's not even close. You see, a bug is an entirely different entity than an insect. The definition for a bug is as follows. A true bug is a subset of insect in the order of Hemiptera that has piercing and sucking mouth parts. To put it more simply, a bug is a type of insect, but an insect is not a type of bug. Let's use an analogy. A cat is a mammal, but is it safe to assume that all mammals are cats? No. The group of mammals is very diverse, as are the group of insects. But calling anything that crawls or any insect a bug, it's like calling all mammals cats. It's just not right. So going with these two definitions, a spider, not a bug. Scorpions, millipedes, centipedes, mites, and ticks. Not a bug, 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 not a bug. So before we get the ball rolling, I would like to point out how big the Earth is. The estimated surface area of the Earth is about 196 million square miles. So you can say that the Earth is really vast. It is also really old, at around 4.6 billion years old. And life appeared on Earth some 3 billion years ago. So you could say that life appeared on Earth rather quickly. But let's fast forward a few billion years. We are now in the age of man. Humans are the dominant species on Earth. So is it safe to assume that humans rule the world? Objection! Insects rule the world. Insects have been on this planet a lot longer than we have. And I am sure they will be here long after the last human has been in the dust. So let's take a look at everybody's favorite insect, the cockroach. In 2010, an old cockroach fossil was found. This species of cockroach was 3.5 inches long and 1.6 inches wide. This cockroach's estimated time period was about 359 to 299 million years ago. And this time period was known as the Carboniferous period, or also known as the Age of the Cockroaches, because, obviously, cockroaches were the most common insect of the time. So now we have shown that insects have been around for a long, long time. But how many of them are there? How many different species are there? Now, as far as we know, there are over one million species of insects. And as for how many actual insects are on this planet right now? An estimated 10 quintillion. Now, it is interesting to note that the word quintillion means two different things depending on where you live. In America, the word quintillion means a one followed by 18 zeros, while in Great Britain, it is a one followed by 30 zeros. So neither definition really changes the fact of how many creatures are on our planet. And if you want to know how many insects there are per person, the answer is for every one of us, there are 200 million insects. And if you want to find out how many insects we have right now, based on this little bit of information, you take our population and multiply it by 200 million. And the answer is some large number with 16 zeros at the end of it. And seeing how that there are 200 million of them, for every one of us, we are seriously outnumbered. Seriously. Well, I hope you haven't been too scared about insects, and I hope that you come back to my channel looking for more videos. This is Dr. Anton signing off, and I look forward to posting a new video soon.